just by dint of the fact that five weeks on, the Ukrainians are now clearly with the upper hand. Uh, the Russians have been bled out badly. The sanctions are clearly hurting Vladimir Putin's economy. Uh, it seems as though there's a little bit of credit that has to be given for the administration that Vladimir Putin certainly wasn't able to take over Ukraine in the fita complete we thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to steal any of the credit from President Zelensky. I mean, frankly, the administration offered him a path out. And to his credit, Zelensky said, I don't need a ride. I need ammunition. Yep. You know, no. so uh, so if it was up to some of the folks, uh, whoever offered him that ride out of the country, uh, you know, they would have already surrendered their own country. So uh, I don't want to give too much credit to the administration, but I will say they made a really good call in terms of declassifying the intelligence. They warned Ukraine and the world, you know, Putin isn't joking. He's going to invade your country. Uh, and and so they got that right. And I think they definitely deserve some credit for that. And they've made some really impressive efforts on logistics to get yeah. weapons there. Uh, and frankly, finally, uh, you know, getting uh, the NATO allies aligned. Putin succeeded in uh, uniting, you know, frankly, getting Germany to finally uh, meet their treaty obligations yeah. under NATO to fund their defense. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.